everyone. My name is Elisa and this is my channel, My Superpower. I want to say welcome to those who are new here and welcome back if you've been here before. Today's video is my contribution to the So Frugal 23 Sewing Challenge. Uh, this challenge is being hosted by Sam and Ruan. Um, they are Frugalissima and the Yorkshire Sew Girl here on YouTube and also on Instagram. The challenge has been running since uh, March 1st. Um, and it's its uh, third year. Um, I participated last year um, as, a, as part of the blogger tour and I'm very happy to be able to do it again this year. You've probably seen a lot about this challenge on YouTube and uh, on Instagram. The rules are very simple. Choose a pattern that is freely available for everyone. The second rule is that you have to use fabric that you already own. The third rule is that you make your garment in the month of March. And the fourth rule is that you reveal your garment on March 31st on Instagram. And um, don't forget to uh, use the hashtag SoFrugal23 and to tag Sam Frugalissima and Ruan the Yorkshire Sewer. I know that we participate in this kind of sewing challenge mostly for the fun of it, but it doesn't hurt also if there are prizes to be won, right? And uh, for this challenge, there are lots of prizes. Um, Ruan, uh, no, sorry, Sam has been featuring them on her Instagram page daily. So go check her page out and you will see uh, all the details uh, about the, the, the prizes and the sponsors. Um, I'm just going to leave you with some graphics uh, with the names of the companies that are sponsoring this challenge um, at, the, at the point that I'm uh, filming this video. Um, I, in the last few days, there have, been, uh, there have been a few more sponsors that have come forward with prizes. So you will get the complete list, list if, you, um, if you follow Sam and uh, check her Instagram page. For the entire month of March, there will be uh, vloggers like myself uh, promoting this challenge. Uh, there will be daily videos, uh, sometimes two videos, that means two vloggers um, uh, promoting the challenge. Um, sharing with you their plans, uh, free patterns, um, fabrics that are they are planning to use. So make sure to go check them out. I'm going to leave you with a list of them. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy um, making this tour also because there are so many great free patterns out there. Um, I mean, some of them are, are quite uh, famous. Um, but there are always hidden gems and it's also nice to see what other people are doing. My video is due on March 16th and on that day my fellow vlogger will be Crystal from the channel My Social Trend. Make sure to go check her out. The day before you will see videos from So Small and Debs Made This. Uh, the day of, on the day after mine and Crystal videos, uh, the next vloggers will be So Andy Sews and Creative Mama of Tree. I will leave links uh, to all these channels below and I hope you go check them out and get inspired and excited for the challenge. And now to the topic of this video. I'm calling this video more free patterns for kids that you may not know about because it's sort of a follow up to the video I did last year for So Frugal 22. I'll be referencing this video, uh, that video <laughs> a few times. So I'll definitely leave a link in the description um, uh, so that you can go check that out. Um, in that video, I um, show you some German websites and uh, I show you also how to navigate them. Um, uh, and um, for that reason, I would suggest that you uh, pause here, go check that video out and then uh, come right back. Um, the video is from last year, it's one year old. Um, but uh, the, the patterns are all still freely available, the information is still valid, so I think it would be best if you um, uh, go check that video and then come back. My video focuses on um, free patterns for kids, specifically older kids. Um, I chose gender neutral or unisex patterns that have, that, that have something special to them, that are uh, a bit out of the ordinary, something you don't see everywhere. Um, that was my main focus. And because I'm showing you websites from Germany, um, I have to add 
Um, if you see a pattern that you like, don't be discouraged because the website is in German. Um, if you don't speak the language, some websites have a English version. If not, you can always assess them uh, through Google Translator. Um, also, I'm going to leave you a link to a uh, English to German or German to English uh, sewing dictionary. Um, and um, uh, as I said uh, in uh, last year's video, I show you how to navigate this specific website. So even if you don't uh, speak the lang language, I'll, I'm showing you where to click to get your um, your patterns. And I um, uh, focused on websites where you don't have to, you can get your patterns directly. So you don't have to register or create an account or sign up to the newsletter in order to get your patterns. You just click on them, and then you can download them for, uh, to your computer or your other device. Some patterns are, of course, easier than others, but um, if you have uh, just a little bit of sewing experience, I think um, all of these patterns are manageable, even for beginners. Um, you just have to take, for some steps, you just have to take your time, but I think they, all, they are all manageable. Let's start with Snaply. I talked about this website on last year's video. This is a, a fabric shop and also a notions shop. Um, it has a blog and on, on the blog you can find a number of free patterns, not only for children, um, for uh, adults also, men and women, and also for um, accessories or um, items for, for your home. You just have to go to Schnittmuster Freebies. I'll leave the link, of course, in the description. And then Baby und Kind, that's babies and children. And here you'll find a lot of patterns. The one I want to show you specifically is on page two. And it is the kids shirt Leo. This is a, a shirt with a stand-up collar. It comes in sizes 98 to 140. And I like this shirt because it has a, um, I feel a very unique look, a very uh, different look. Um, it is described, uh, they describe it on the website as an uncomplicated shirt in Nordic style. And I think the description is um, perfect. It's exactly what I think it is. This kind of shirt, at least here in Germany, um, this kind of men's shirt is called a fisherman's um, shirt. So they say this is a three out of four regarding the difficulty of the pattern. Um, I don't know yet because I, I haven't sewn it myself, but I think uh, with almost everything in sewing, you just have to take your time. So uh, the pattern comes from a book, a mini fashion, a DIY mini fashion. So here is the material list, what you need to, to make this shirt. And you just have to click here. And there you have your patterns. And don't forget to always, uh, you save it to your computer and then um, open it on Adobe Reader. And before you print, don't forget to check if this uh, little square has one centimeter. You have to print it at um, 100%. The next website, Initiative Handarbeit, was also um, on last year's video. I'm focusing this year on patterns for older children. This is a site, a website where you can find free sewing, knitting, crochet and uh, embroidery patterns. You just have to click on instructions. The German word for it is Anleitungen. And then there's a number of filters here. You have to, you can choose here for kids, Kinder. And then uh, the technique or the, the craft is Nähen in German. That means sewing. And then you can filter by uh, type of garment. I'm looking for trousers or pants. 
so here Hose and this is the pattern I want to show you kids jeans Felix these children jeans come in sizes 98 to 134 um, again something for the older children and uh, I like that the legs are wide enough I don't know what happened but um, somehow uh, someone told everyone that um, baby and children's uh, pants have to have skinny jeans, uh, skinny legs nowadays. So that's all I see and I don't like it at all. I don't like it for myself, but uh, I, I really don't like it in children's uh, um, pants when, when the legs are so skinny. So I'm very, very happy about this pattern and I'm definitely going to sew it soon. So here you have a couple of pictures and what you have to do is you just go here, click and there you have your pattern. Again, don't forget that you have to print at a scale of 100%. Use um, Adobe Acrobat um, to open your file, download it to your computer, and then open it with uh, Acrobat. And always check this square, this test square, before you print all the pages. The next website is the Bernina, the German Bernina blog. You will find the instructions down here. Gratis Schnittmuster is the German word for it. It's a very, very extensive collection. As you can see, there are a lot of free patterns here. They are from different popular and sometimes quite recent sewing books or from older issues of the Bernina magazine Inspiration or Inspiration in English. So I'm going to show you patterns that I chose. The first one I'm going to show you is the t-shirt Caesar. This is a t-shirt for older kids, sizes 110 to 164. This sewing pattern is from a book uh, about um, sustainable sewing for kids. Uh, this is the link to the book. I think it's a great pattern for using up scraps and to do some color blocking. You'll find the pattern here. This is the link. Just click here and it opens right up. In this case, it's 23 pages. And here you have a table with the measurements the material you're going to need and uh, you also have for those of you who don't speak German or if you um, are not using Google Translator or any other uh, another um, translation app you still have here very very detailed tutorials so you should be able to follow it The next one is the Raglan tee. Um, this is a t-shirt also for older kids, uh, sizes 128 to 176. This pattern is also from, uh, from a book, Cool Styles for Kids. It's the name of the book. This is a Raglan tee with regular neckband or um, with a hood is, that is attached crossed in the front uh, what you can see here and uh, it has three sleeve options so this is again the t-shirt version this is where you click to get your pattern again a table with the measurements 
and here this is the the hood i was talking about with the crossed here attached crossed at the front and here you have again a tutorial with pictures so that you can follow along seems quite straightforward actually The third pattern from the Bernina block I want to share with you, it's a kid's jacket that comes in two versions, um, both in sizes 110 to 134. It's a pattern from, from 2007. And they call it, uh, they say uh, there's a boys and a girls version, but in the end it's up to you. You can sew either one of them there that can both be or they are both gender neutral i think so this is where you click to download the pattern only nine pages they say the uh, boys version has a shirt color that would be this one and the girls uh, version has a stand-up color Here are the materials you need and the instructions. And you can even, um, if you have a embroidery machine, um, you can also download this gecko um, that's on the green jacket, the pocket. So my plan for So Frugal 23. I plan to sew something for my son because, um, as I said, his birthday is coming up. So um, I don't sew a lot, a lot for him at the moment because we have been fortunate enough to have been given uh, a lot of hand-me-downs from friends that have had uh, children before me. Uh, their, their kids are much older now, so um, I got a lot. Uh, a lot of clothing from them uh, and um, I, uh, I nowadays I only sew um, special for special occasions like his birthday I like to give him something handmade from uh, for his birthday or um, um, the last thing I sewed for him was a costume um, for a carnival here um, I made him a, a Gruffalo um, a jumpsuit or a, a dungaree because <laughs> at the time he was um, uh, 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 he was um, a very big Gruffalo fan. I don't know if you know this book. I'll insert a picture um, uh, so that it's in, in case you don't have kids and you don't know what I'm talking about. So I made him uh, this costume and he was very excited to use it, to, to wear it. Uh, but on the day of, uh, I started uh, sewing about two weeks before the date. And uh, on the morning he was supposed to, to wear it, um, he announced that he was no longer into the Gruffalo. He had moved on to another character uh, uh, from the book. So we eventually convinced him. We had to bribe him to wear the costume. But it was okay. So that was the last thing I sewed for him. Um, and I'm definitely going to do the, the Felix jeans. Um, because um, jeans are the, or pants are the only thing that um, uh, the, the, the current uh, fashion uh, for kids dictates that the pants have to be have to have tapered legs and really small skinny legs. And I don't like that. I find it very uh, impractical especially if kids uh, are still in diapers uh, and you have to change them um, uh, a couple of times uh, a day. Um, so I'll be sewing him uh, those, uh, those pants, but I'm not sure I'll, um, I'll be able to do, um, to do it before the, the challenge uh, finishes, March 31st. Uh, my plans are to make the pants and um, if I manage also the shirt, the Leo uh, shirt, um, if I'm successful, I'll um, come back and show you. 
uh, after March 31st. Uh, but if not, uh, I'm not going to put uh, extra pressure on myself to be done uh, in time for the challenge. Um, uh, it would be nice, but um, it's not. Uh, we all do it just for the for the fun of it and for the pleasure of sewing. Uh, I have enough going on as it is. I don't have to put the extra pressure on myself. So if I manage, I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing my research and looking for um, for free, different looking. Uh, patterns for kids. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and um, to leave me a comment. Let me know if you're going to sew some of these patterns or if you're participating in Sew Frugal 23. I will be back hopefully soon with a new video. Hope to see you there. Have a nice day. Bye!